What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to 303 Streets. My name is Brandon Lechuga and today we're going to be doing a car review on five things that I can't stand about my Ford Bronco. Some of them are nitpicky, some of them I feel like are justified, so <laughs> bear with me. You know, we've only had the car a few weeks now, so um, I originally did a video once I got the car of five things I can't stand. And you know, some of them again were nitpicky, but now for having it over a week, uh, you know, I figured out things that I for sure can't stand. And then again, some of them that are kind of nitpicky. So uh, first thing we're gonna start off with is the hard top. Um, you have to know with getting one of these Broncos, they do come with removable tops, so it's not gonna be 100% soundproof. And this one for sure isn't uh, going around 40 to 45 plus. You can definitely hear the wind kind of cutting through it. Um, this is the hard top with the soundproof. Uh, I can only imagine what the soft top sounds like. I'm sure it's way worse, but uh, you know, again, when you get one of these cars, you have to expect that you're gonna hear stuff because as you can see, there's two for sure slits, one going right down the center and then one going across the car and air is gonna get through. So far, I haven't had any issues with water leakage or anything like that. And I guess we'll see when we get a hard snow or a hard rain, if anything comes through, but so far so good. Uh, like I said, you know, that's one of the things you kind of just have to understand once you get one of these cars. It, if it's a removable top, it's not gonna be 100% soundproof. So that's the first thing. Um, to me, the second thing that I find really annoying, and again, I don't think this is a nitpicky, I think it's a design flaw, and I hope Ford fixes it going into the 2022 models. I doubt it, but who knows, we'll see, is the gear shift. As you see, the park reverse neutral drive, this does not light up at all. None of that lights up. So when it's dark out and you're trying to put it in gear, if you're sitting where I'm sitting, and as you can see, even turning the wheel, I can't see what gear it's in. If it's in drive, neutral, reverse. But you can see it up there if you're better. But again, I need room for my legs for the steering wheel. So it's just kind of annoying that you can't really uh, see that at all. So again, to me, doesn't make sense. I don't know why you wouldn't put lights on it. So when you look down to see what gear you're in, or if you're in drive, neutral, reverse, whatever, you know what you're in. But they uh, they didn't light that up, which I, again, it's, you know, it's 2021. I feel like that should be lit up. Maybe it's because, you know, it's off-roading and that it's just another electrical thing that they feel that you don't need. Or I, honestly, I, again, I have no idea. Um, that doesn't make any sense to me. I think that's a, a flaw for sure. And again, with the hard top, you have to realize if it's removable, it's not gonna be completely soundproof. Uh, for me, one of the next huge design flaws, I personally think, is this sun flap or sun guard. So as you can see, once I put mine down, if the sun's blinding me, it smacks the crap out of my mirror. So if I don't wanna hit my mirror, it has to be like that, but then I can't see the roads or the lights or anything. So yeah, that to me does not make sense at all. Now I gotta adjust my mirror because I jacked it up. So to me, that makes absolutely no sense. Um, you would think either you would make the sun visor a little bit smaller, maybe move the mirror to the right a little bit, maybe make the mirror smaller, something along those lines, because to me, that just makes absolutely no, sen no sense. And I feel like that could be a safety issue, especially if you're driving and the sun gets in your eyes and you're trying to move it really quick or and you put it down and you smack your mirror or you don't wanna smack your mirror so you don't put it down, like I said. It's just a very, to me it seems dangerous and it makes absolutely no sense why it's so, either well two things, why it's so wide and why it's so long. I feel like this windshield's not very big and if I put this down, it covers more than half the windshield. So that I feel like that's a little bit unnecessary. I feel like that's a, again, another design flaw that they should fix. And actually, let me touch on the fourth thing I hate. <laughs> um auto start and stop i know i know i'm being picky but uh cannot stand that especially when you're in stop and go traffic because so now i have to let off the gas wait for a second and let the car start again so um that's one of the other things i really can't stand about the uh the jeep or <laughs> sorry not the jeep the bronco but our jeep renegade also has it and i can't stand it in that car either <laughs> so that being said you know um not really design flaw it's not too big of a deal you can press a button right in the center in between the volume and tune where you can adjust the radio and uh turn it off but again it's annoying to me that every time i want to do it i have to hit that button 
and you know I can't just set it in the settings uh, from what I've seen I can't adjust it in the settings if you can let me know how at the bottom in the comments I would really love to know how so to me you know again that's being that's a nitpicky thing is uh, you know the auto start and stop I know it's better for the MPG I know it's probably and again my other main thing why I don't like it is I don't know how rough it is on the starter that's my biggest thing is start and stop start and stop start and stop is it you know is it doing a full start on the starter is it partial does it even affect the starter um i don't know enough about it to not know but just me putting two and two together i'm like oh that's got to be hard on the starter because it's stop and go stop and go stop and go so um that's the other main reason i don't like it is because i feel like it's probably more wear and tear on the car which is just unnecessary um so yeah, again, that's being nitpicky, very nitpicky, but I'm gonna turn it off actually because I can't stand it. Um, again, I think that's just me being a little bit nitpicky, but the, you know that's one of the four things I can't stand about the car is that. And then the fifth and final thing, again, pretty nitpicky, is uh, the screen. To me, it's a little bit bland. And what I really don't like is if you hit this button down here for the... Um, distribute there you have to do it on the screen you can't adjust it down there and to me that's just kind of annoying because you know like if you again if you're driving and you're cold or your uh, windshield starts fogging up as you can see there's the windshield thing and you're driving down the road in traffic and your windshield's fogging up you have to click down there and then try to pick it on the um the screen to me again it's just a safety issue and i don't think that's a good idea um, I again, I wish they would have just done. I'm gonna put it in park really quick. I wish they would have just done where you can hit this button and then you can look at the screen and maybe tap it again and it'll switch to face, tap it again, turn it to feet, tap it again and it'll be face and feet or something along those lines. Again, I just think it's a safety issue and it doesn't really make sense to me, but you know, that's just me. Um, again, other than that, I really love the car, we haven't had any issues with it. Uh, everywhere we go it gets lots of attention because it's so unique looking so amazing like i just can't describe how much i love this car still um but yeah those are the five issues i found with the car so far um if you you know have anything else that you think's a flaw or issues that you've noticed i would love to know leave comments at the bottom uh if you have any questions comments concerns leave them at the bottom and i hope you enjoyed watching this video this is 303 streets thank you for watching like subscribe and have a good day thank you